Welcome back, folks. Today's topic is inspirational. We're talking about the cockroach. Yes, the bug that makes you question every decision you've ever made about kitchen hygiene. Scientists call them resilient survivors. I call them that freeloading roommate who eats all your cereal at 3 a.m. Our story begins in a carefully chosen roach maternity ward, the back of your kitchen cabinet. Mama Roach, in her infinite wisdom, packages her babies in a special container called an Uthaka. Basically, a bug-shaped Airbnb for 40. That's right, 40 kids, stuffed in one capsule. She basically skipped the SUV stage of parenting and went straight to owning a school bus. Picture it like a kindergarten class where everyone shares one bathroom and nobody flushes. This is the Roach Nursery. Dark, moist, and one broken light bulb away from being a horror movie set. After about a month of group therapy inside the capsule, the babies hatch. Congratulations, mama just multiplied like a coupon deal at Costco. When baby roaches emerge, they want you to smash that light button. They're pale, awkward, and squishier than your uncle's meatloaf. These are the nymphs. Spoiler, they're not magical fairies, they're tiny creeps running around your kitchen. Over time, they shed their skin again and again. You know, like changing outfits. If every outfit made you look exactly the same but slightly grosser. And just like teenagers, they're basically nocturnal. They eat garbage, and they hiss if you turn the light on. And a roach doesn't exactly go to college, but imagine if it did, majoring in trash economics with a minor in evading human footwear. Roach nightlife is wild. They're clubbing in your sink, partying in your cereal box, and leaving behind glitter. Except it's not glitter. Dating is competitive. Males flex with pheromones, which is basically axe body spray for bugs. The females, they're swiping left on everyone until the best dumpster diver shows up. Romantic, right? After a successful courtship, aka the female says, fine, whatever, the happy couple settles down, their dream home, behind your fridge, under your couch, or inside that mystery drawer you never open. Now comes parenting. One female can crank out hundreds of babies over her lifetime. Hundreds. That's not a family tree, it's a forest fire. Imagine Thanksgiving with that many relatives. Half of them show up uninvited, nobody brings food, and they all plan on staying forever. That's a roach reunion. And like teenagers in real life, the kids don't help. They don't leave, and they somehow bring more kids back with them. By now, the roach has truly lived. It's dodged flip-flops, laughed at your half-hearted raid sprays, and pulled all-nighters in your pantry. Some will grow wings and take up terror flying as a hobby. Others will just keep running marathons across your kitchen floor at 3 a.m. like caffeinated track stars. Eventually, the roach dies, but not before leaving behind a dynasty that makes the Roman Empire look like a weekend hobby. And here's the kicker. Even in death, its cousins, children, and probably great-grandkids are still around. It's less of a life cycle and more like a subscription service you can cancel. Speaking of subscribing... So there you have it, the beautiful, disgusting, incredibly human-like journey of the cockroach. Born in squalor, awkward through adolescence, messy at adulthood, and leaving behind far too many kids. If that doesn't remind you of your neighbors, I don't know what does. Who knows, when the world ends and we're all gone, maybe the roaches will still be here, arguing about child support payments in your old microwave. Sweet dreams, and hasta la vista, roach.